I am home for the day, home from work, home from the hospital. I thought I would make it through my shifts, and the universe was like, nope. I went to sit down to pee, and I noticed that the bump was oozing, and it was going through the band-aids. So I sat there and had um, tissue, like toilet paper, and uh, seat liners under my thigh so it could drain. And it turned into this hole, and it was pretty shocking because um, I went to the hospital so they could finish cleaning it out. And... Turns out it was a bacterial infection, and because we were so busy at work, I didn't get to go to the hospital till about an hour after. Um, but I have the rest of the day off, and I have tomorrow off. And this is the hole. It was gaping, and there was a ton of pus, but it looks ten times better. And that's a really good sign that the blood is bright red. That's fresh, clean blood. And they gave me a shot of an antibiotic. And um, they sent me home with tape. And I have gauze. And HEPA cleanse. And they refilled my Zoloft. And... Um, the shot was an antibiotic into my thigh, my, like, this area here, um, so it would be close to the hole to help the antibiotics get into my system faster, um, like, towards the site of the infection, because had I waited any longer, like, the lo longer I waited, um, the more the infection would go into my bloodstream, and so thankfully... You know, our bodies um, do everything it can to help us recover from infection and help us, um, you know, survive and stay alive. And so um, I have uh, cephalexin and Bactrim, and I will take that so it's done i'll start that today um i did take um pick up some uh tacos and some beans and rice because those are soft on my belly and comfort food and just something nice and the kittens have been very sweet and attentive and um as soon as i wake up because after i eat i'm gonna go to sleep and just rest today um, I will definitely deep clean, like I scrub my bathroom down, I vacuumed my living room and my hallway, and I'm going to finish my bedroom tomorrow, um, and, and just spend the day home and not be out anywhere so I can let the antibiotics just kick in and let myself just kind of rest and focus on my home, and I'll do a load of laundry. I use uh, antibacterial uh, disinfectant with my laundry because I never know because I go to laundromats and I don't know um, what the person before me what their load was like that they washed so I just like to be extra careful and I'm thankful that I covered it last night with a band-aid and I didn't try and poke at it more than I was trying because it was so like bubbled up and ready um, and I knew it would ooze. I just hoped that it would wait till I was done with my shift. But that's not how life works sometimes. But anyways, thank you for letting me share an update with you guys. And for um, checking out my channel, my YouTube channel. And feel free to check out the video from last night that I shared with you guys of discovering the bump. And tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment. Um, took over uh, fibroids and ovarian cysts, and I'm crossing my fingers. So let me do an endometrial ablation um, just to help conquer the fibroids and the ovarian cysts permanently. 
because I'm 33 and I think I'm too old to have kids and there's a lot of genetic things in my family that I don't want to uh, pass on. So I'm much happier with my kittens. And I will include a few pictures of them so you can see how cute and wonderful they are.